Hey, you're watching Good Creative Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Toro tool with some outline text to create some unique looks. We'll create something like this right here. All right. So go ahead and go to File, New. Click OK. I want to hide that artboard for this example, so I'm going to go to View, Hide Artboards. First thing you want to do is choose the Type tool here. Click and let go. Type in Civil. And you can use, uh, look at the many different fonts that you have, but uh, I think it was Palatino is what I'm going to use, but just something with a little bit of serifs on the end. Uh, like so. All right, And hold down that black selection arrow, click and drag it on the edge there, and we can resize it. Or you can change the font style if it's selected with the type tool, uh, or the size as well up on the top. All right, so I have some text here. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on the Mac, Alt on the PC, click and drag it, and drag that over there. And then I'm going to drag a third one right up here. I'm just going to double click it with the Type tool, change the words here. And then this one, change words as well. And I press Control A or Command A on the Mac to select that, another shortcut. I'm just going to change this color here to kind of a complementary scheme and I'll keep the the in black up there and make it a little bit smaller. All right. So what you want to do, if we try to use the twirl tool right now, it does nothing as you can see. All right, we need to outline it. Once we outline it, you won't be able to select it like this and you know change the letters. Um, but once it's uh, outlined, it makes it so it's points and paths in between, so it's more like vector art. Okay, so what you want to do is just with the black selection arrow selected, right click over it, create outlines, and select this one, right click over it, create outlines. Alright, now what we want to do is you can press Control Plus or Command Plus and zoom in, or you can use the zoom tool there. And if I select this with the black arrow selection tool, you'll see it's got anchor points and pads in between. If you select with the white direct selection tool, then we can actually edit and change where those anchor points are and also where the paths are and the angle of those anchor points as well with the handles like so. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click and drag in the middle here, drag this letter over the side and then I just want to click right on the edge here and bring this up a little bit so there's a little bit more content to work with here. Then click and hold onto the width tool right there. Go down to the twirl tool and if you need a larger brush just double click it and change it up here. So let's just say if we made this 75, 75 width and height. Click OK. Now it's selected and We'll just click and drag, and it's going the opposite way, right? That's not right. So what we need to do is double click on it. Instead of negative 40% or 40 degrees, just go to 40 under the twirl rate. So now it goes this way, like so. All right? So you would repeat that for all these other ones. So for example, if you want this back, once you pull them off and edit them, you want to bring them back with the white arrow, just click and drag it back like so. And if you want, for example, this one over here, you can do the same thing. I'm just going to drag it over to the side. And then if I click and drag, see that's too large. So what you can do is double click on it, change the width and the height, just say 30, something like that. And then just click and drag, and you can kind of get that look there. And drag that over. All right. So the idea is you would do that for every single letter, whatever kind of look you're looking for, and you can come up with something like this, but it'll look a little bit different depending on your settings. All right. So that's how you twirl. Use the twirl tool with text, uh, and whether you're looking for something a little bit more fancy looking or artistic, uh, all you have to do is outline that text and then adjust the settings of the twirl tool and so you can twirl uh, those letters for a unique look. Thanks.